Morning everyone, welcome to my channel. So today I'm just gonna be filming a few bits of my day. I just got ready and I did a Snapchat tutorial today um, of this makeup. So I will show you. <laughs> so make sure to add me. My Snapchat is ellaringrose one I will leave it on the screen. Um, it was so fun to film. I'm definitely gonna do more of them. I feel it helps me get a bit more confident as well and stuff like that, so I'll show you a little bit of it. So it was so much fun to film, so I'm definitely gonna do it again. So today, um, I have a friend coming over soon and I'm gonna be doing her HD brows. So when I woke up, I just did a bit of med med I did a bit of meditation. I wrote a to-do list. Then I just did my snap tutorial, obviously showered, as you would. And also, I re-pierced my septum last night. I'm gonna get changed now and make breakfast. So it looks kind of cold outside. I shall take this jacket off. <laughs> so my top is from Bershka and then my leggings are from Forever 21. And I, I got these like a year ago and they haven't like faded or anything like that. And then the back, there's nothing fancy with the top. Um, this little thingy my bobber is from Ashley Mason, I think. I have no clue how I have this. I found it in my room, so I'm wearing it. And yeah, that's it. Gonna make breakfast. shop they're absolutely vile I saw busy bee carry doing this I think it's how you say it. busy bee carry or something um, on YouTube doing it I love her oh so I'm just gonna take some wheatgrass I can't pack a tablespoon so a teaspoon will I'm gonna try this. This better be nice. Cacao powder is kind of like the purest form of chocolate before all like the milk and the sugar and sweeteners yeah, added. It's, it's just like real. It has 40 times more antioxidants than blueberries. It's a plant based source of iron and it's full of magnesium, which is really good for the heart and the brain. It is an antidepressant. My brother's periscoping. You guys, my OG followers. This is gonna be a daily thing as well. <laughs> so stick around. Look here. So we're gonna get this oats. <laughs> Jeez. He's taking the piss out. My sister jealous of my fame. Where's that cocoa powder on it? I hit it. What the frick? I had a multivitamin and it's gone. Okay, my friend's about to come over, so I want to chat a little bit about another topic. I always, I'm in such a good mood today. I want to start like incorporating these little chats because I think they're very important and they might help someone stay at. So today I want to talk a little bit about confidence. Um, I think something about confidence is and self-esteem is you either have it or you don't but you have to realize that you can develop it over time and with practice you can get it. It's not something you're born with and you'll never and if you're not born with it you'll never have it. You can have it easily. It just takes practice. So number one is always believe in yourself no matter what. Even if you don't believe in yourself pretend like you believe in yourself and over time you will start to. I feel if you tell yourself every day, oh I look amazing, I look amazing, you'll just start to think it after a while, do you know what I mean? So the good vibe, everything you're feeding into your mind has to be good vibes, good thoughts and if you eat very healthy, I mean if you eat well I personally think you feel a lot better so you improve a lot in your daily life. Uh, when I eat better I feel freaking amazing, I just had my breakfast and I feel like on top of the world and I didn't have a coffee. I have quit coffee if you didn't already know. I'm gonna have it like if I'm at meeting up with someone and I want a coffee and stuff but I don't make coffee at home anymore. So confidence. 
you have to make sure you see yourself in a positive light um, not how other people see you, how you see yourself is way more important. Usually when you have an insecurity, you think everyone else is noting that, noticing that insecurity and it's like, oh my gosh, she, like, let's say you had a few spots and you're like, oh my God, I'm so insecure about my spots. Like, oh my gosh, like, and you go out and you're like, think everyone's looking at you because it's all that your mind is focusing on is, oh my gosh, my skin, my skin, my skin. So people are gonna be, like, people look, walk past you and all you're thinking is, oh my God, she thinks, I have horrible skin, she thinks I have horrible skin, like oh my god he's looking at me because I have like the bad skin and all your mind and you get obsessed with your insecurities so your insecurities develop way bigger out of proportion than they are and we think that like everyone is like what the hell but no one really notices things like no one cares about you they care about themselves and no one's really thinking negatively while they walk past the street they don't care you know and usually even if you have an insecurity and you think everyone's staring at you for that reason, they could be staring at you for a different reason. They could be like, wow, her top's really nice. Wow, she's really pretty. Wow, she's an amazing figure. Like, you don't know what they're thinking, what's going through their head. But realistically, the insecurities you think you have, people really don't notice. I think insecurities grow over time, but if you deal with it, from you deal with the insecurity, like the root cause of why you have this insecurity, and you start to realize that it isn't as big and blown out of proportion then you've made it, I think that's when you start to understand. Um, I think insecurities are just so blown out of proportion and we just get so much anxiety from it. Insecurities just get out of your head. Just get out of your head and just be here now. Be sure of yourself. You can't have uncertainty about yourself. And if you are a very shy person, tell yourself you're confident every day. Be like, wow, I'm very confident. And do one thing every single day, one little thing every single day, to get yourself outside your comfort zone because over time your comfort zone will expand and expand and you'll be more confident with life and just things in general. I do little challenges every day, things that scare me or get me nervous. One thing I want to do is vlog in public. That's something I'm still getting up to but like even if it's the stupidest thing like sending a snapchat to someone with no makeup on like whatever it is for you just get outside your comfort zone. Do things that scare you a little bit because it's such an amazing feeling um, doing things that you wouldn't usually do or you're scared to do and just push yourself to do them and I think over time you'll just get confident more happy with life I'm in such a good mood right now like oh my god <laughs> oh my god I make myself laugh so much just strut your stuff be you be yourself make yourself don't try and be someone you're not just be you dress the way you want wear makeup the way you want get piercings where you want get tattoos what you want do what you like whatever makes you happy so yeah. And if you want to be con confident more, dress nicely, groom yourself. I think it is a good building block and then eventually you can start to go out with less makeup and less makeup and then you'll feel more confident. But if you are very insecure, groom yourself and just dress nicely and always think positive, kill negative thoughts out of your life. No, no. If you eat better, you're going to feel better. I've noticed. And one thing is to always act positive and then over time you will just be a positive person and always know yourself. Nothing more attractive than having goals. Even if they're tiny little goals, the goals there's nothing more attractive than having goals, having things you want to do just don't let your insecurities hold you back because you only get one life i'm gonna go because i have to get ready for my friend to come and yeah that's after it's shaped and then i'll tint them what sorry no, i'm just taking it's a vid yeah hey yeah <laughs> hello boys <laughs> oh my That looks pretty good. Does it? Yeah. Remember that time you did some amazing with after the tint. So as you would have seen there, I just did my friend's brows. I HD'd them, so like obviously I tinted them, plucked them, like shaped them, and trimmed. She had to go to she just left there because she had to go to work and yeah. Um me and my brother are gonna go to town for a little bit. What book will I bring to my dad's? Better. And I'm gonna read that. Because on the train, like it's a quite long train journey, so I'm just gonna read them that for a
the vegetable noodles. What do you got? <laughs> what do you got? Uh, beef. The beef noodles. Yeah. So, so we are in, where are we? Wok. Oh, my phone is on it. We are in Wok. I just got vegetable noodles. And you got, what do you got? Beef noodles. Beef noodles. So good and so cheap. It was like six euros, was it? And you get so much. There you go. Delicious. And I got it with sweet chili sauce. So we're just in town. 2.2 liters, so that'll be really convenient. So that's that. And yeah, and then we're gonna look at some cameras and stuff now. We went to the camera shop in Grant Street, it was really packed, but it was it's a good shop. And then we just looked around and stuff. And yeah. Leave. <laughs> you broke it. <laughs> Stop getting in my shots, bro. Oh, I think I'm doing it for the vlog. England is my city. England is my city. We get donuts and then. Yeah, we're walking through Trinity. We're just walking through Trinity. I have to vlog. I don't even care anymore. God's church. I want to take a photo. No. So we're walking through Trinity right now and we're going to get some donuts. And then I'm getting my train. Car, I am in Meath. Meath. Woo! <laughs> I didn't get a donut in the end because I didn't get a donut in the end because basically I was late my train was very soon so I had to run to my train and then I got on it and it, there's very few seats so I finally I got a seat which I was very lucky about and then I realized that my brother had like my chargers and everything like that my headphones so I had to get off the train and get off my brother and then my next train wasn't for 25 minutes so yeah kind of annoying but I made it so I just got here. Have my cup of tea. Gorgeous. Say my dad built those cupboards. My dad built those cupboards. <laughs> it's looking gorgeous. That's my room. It's very nice. Just gonna chill by the fire. We're gonna watch Friends with Kids. Babies. Hey. Hey. We're not quite there yet. Oh. Morning everyone. So it is like it's a little, 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 little. 